Curry. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the San Antonio Spurs uh, franchise, I guess I'm calling it. I don't know why I started off on the screen, but I did simulate up until um, the real life, you know, date, kind of. Um, this is the team. Obviously, as you know, this is the updated roster. Some players might not on our team, but um, I forgot to turn off like CPU to CPU trades or whatever to keep the roster the same. So we're going to go through that just to see if there was any big trades. If there were, I'll probably revert them. I don't know. But as you can see, we're the worst team in the league. 30th in the power ranking, 15th, and everyone's angry. So, because morale in this game is awful. It's extremely stupid. Doesn't make sense. I have injuries on 10, and as you can see, there's still injuries. Like, for some reason, 2K, if you lower the injuries, it, it doesn't lower the frequency. It just lowers the, like, some severity, I guess, of the injury. Because all season has been, like, day-to-day -day injuries. But there's been so many of them. It doesn't make sense. But as you can see, I have yet to check the standings, but I know they're really bad. Um, as you can see, we are 10 and 47. That just shows how much 2K hates the Spurs. 10 and 47. This team is, I think, 24 and 26 in real life and in a playoff spot. They're 10 and 47 in 2K simulation. Worst team in the league. So, hey, we might have the first overall pick. I don't know. But as you can see, yeah, it is. Um, let me check the transaction report. But you guys are new here. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a like. You already know what it is. Where do I check trends? Oh, right here. All right. So, if we go all the way to trades. Um, Harrison Barnes with Buddy Healed. Wait. Wait a minute. Draymond Green for Buddy Healed and Hassan. I mean... And a... Fir okay, so the first. I was going to say it's not an awful trade for the Warriors, but the first kind of... Threw Let's go from the bottom. Uh, Brooke Lopez for Grayson Allen. That's already an issue. Um, Patch Berry for Mike Muscala. Actually, not that big of a deal. Um, so far, nothing else. Dwight Powell and JJ Redick for Wayne Ellington. Also, not that big of a deal. Um, KCP and a first for Robert Covington. I don't think the Blazers would ever do that trade, to be brutally honest with you. So, I might revert that. Al Horford for Torian Prince. Sure, why not? Um, that This trade is probably going to get reverted. Um, because the Kings traded Buddy Heald, then traded back for him. Doesn't make sense. That trade is not that effective. I think JJ Brayer actually retired in real life, anyways. Um, Luke Kennard for Paul Millsap. Sure, that's the trade. He's actually not terrible. Then Harrison Barnes back to the war. So the the Kings traded Harrison Barnes, Hassan Whiteside for Draymond in a first, essentially. I don't know about that one. <laughs> don't know about that one. Um, anyways, yeah, so um, I guess it's just the Warriors and Kings I gotta focus on to revert trades from, and then the Bucks, but I'll do that later. Anyways, yeah, the team sucks, as you can see. We're, in this video, we're probably gonna sim to the end of the season, the next episode we'll get with the offseason. Because, literally, we're past the trade deadline and everything, there's no point. Yeah, I just realized that I can't put them back. I'm stupid. You know what? I hit my mic. You know what? Whatever. I can't even trade them back, so it doesn't matter. Um, are the Kings in the playoff spot? They're, they're in the race. They're in the race. 2K doesn't have the playing tournament, but if they did, they'd be in the playing tournament. So you know what? If y'all want, if y'all want to swing that way, go ahead. Are the Warriors in? Oh no, the Warriors are ass actually. Yeah, no, the Warriors are terrible. Injuries are on, by the way, like pre-existing. So Clay is hurt. But Hassan Whiteside isn't a bad pickup for this team. It's not good, but it's not a bad pickup. Yeah, um, Harrison Barnes is back on the team, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's check out the player stats for our San Antonio Spurs. Demar. He'll probably be gone this offseason. I don't plan on bringing him back. He has, I don't think he wants to come back in real life anyways. Or it's very unlikely. So, one thing I could do is a sign and trade for him. To either get some young players. Or I could look for another, like, all-star caliber player to um, bring to the team. Because, honestly, uh, I did see a trade that popped up when I was simulating. It was DeMar for Westbrook. Enticed me a little bit. I didn't do it, obviously. But it did entice me. So, I might go back to that at some point. Um, but DeMar's averaging 24 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists, you know, playing really well, doing DeMar-type things. Um, DeJounte Murray, he's outraged. Don't understand how DeMar's okay, but DeJounte Murray's outraged. He's having a career year, 15 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, and a steal. Shooting great. I don't understand. He's mad because we, we suck, I guess. Um, Keldon Johnson, 11 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. He is starting at small forward, and I do have DeMar at power forward. So, Keldon Johnson having a career year. Playing well like he is in real life. Lonnie Walker is our starting shooting guard. He's averaging also 11 points. Rudy Gay off the bench, 10 points. Um, Derek White, who has been our sixth man, is averaging 9. Patty Mills, 8 points, only 1 assist. He'll probably be on the move. Actually, is he a free agent? Um, 
he is free agent, so he won't be on the move. He'll just be gone. I don't plan on bringing him back. Devin Vassell is averaging seven points in his rookie year. Um, shooting pretty decently, honestly. So he could be your future starting small forward. This guy, him or Keldon Johnson, I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out. We could trade one of them in the future. Um, Jakob Pertl, not going to be our starting center going forward. He's just not great in 2K. Same thing in real life. He's awful offensively. Six points. He is averaging nine rebounds. Then he's a great defender, but he's not in our future. He's not in our long-term plan. So he could be traded this offseason. And Drew Eubanks is playing eh. Um, I did send Trey Jones to the G League. I do plan on him being a, a bench point guard. Um, he, he's triggered. Uh, Luka Samanich, I think is how you say his name. He's also in the G League. I don't know if he's going to crack the rotation um, anytime. But yeah, let's go check in that ratings, by the way. So Trey Jones is 69 overall. And Luka is a 71. So team's ass. That's, that's all I'm going to say. So I don't know. I could you know, take minutes away from like Patty Mills and call them up. Which I legit might do, seeing that we're so bad. We might as well call up um, Luca, and we might as well call up Trey Jones and get them some minutes. Um, so I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to take minutes away from Patty Mills. There's no need for him to be playing, and I'm going to take minutes away. I think is Rudy Gay's already hurt, so and I'm going to give those to Luca. So we're going to give Trey Jones about 17. Um, why is Keldon Johnson off the bench? I don't know. Uh, wow, what the hell is this team trying to do? Where is, uh, Gorgie Dang's not going to play. Nope, ain't happening. Trey Lyles is not going to play. Ain't happening. Um, so I, I want my young players to play. That's why I want. So we're going to get Devin Vassell 27, 21, uh, I guess 17 is good enough. Luca will give about 12, maybe? Um, yeah, sure. Do we have any other young players? No, Derek White will be in that rotation once he comes back. Um, so DeJounte Murray, we're going to give him like 32 minutes. Lonnie Walker, 30. Keldon Johnson, 30. We're going to lower DeMar's minutes a bit because there's no need for him to be playing that much. Yaka Proto, we'll give him about 28. We got some minutes to go around, so I want to get DeJounte Murray more. Uh, he's going to be here long term. I don't care what 2K says. Um, so we'll do that. That that seems good enough for me. Let's send him to the end of the season um, and see how those players do. We see That's why I'm saying all day-to-day -day injuries. It doesn't make sense. Derek White's back. Actually, need to put him back in the rotation. So Derek White's back. That's good. Um, he's. I'm not. I don't know about long term, but he is going to be in our future. Uh, he was our six man, so I do want to give him six man type minutes. So give 21, 17. Uh, I guess. Um, Jakob Proto, you can lose minutes. Uh, 30, 30, and then we'll get the rest to Derek White. 25, yep, that seems good enough. Um, good enough. Uh, now it's until the end of the season until we get another injury. And, okay, DeJounte Murray's healthy. But, yeah, uh, the future of this team, I think I'm going to end up signing trading um, DeMar. It seems about right. I'm not going to bring him back. There's no need for him to come back to this team. We're going with a full reset. We're most likely going to – actually, we might not even have the first pick. We're probably going to drop to four. Let's be brutally honest. I'm going to be brutally honest here. We're probably going to drop down the four. As we're not even going to crack 20 wins. Yeah, no. We're not even going to win 20 games. And then Lonnie Walker gets hurt. Sick. Um, I guess Devin White's getting the start. It doesn't make sense. I have injuries on 10. But yet, players are still getting injured left and right. 2K, your game's terrible. Your game is awful. Um, Derek White starting now. Uh, you know, for the end of the season, we'll give you all, we'll give you all the minutes. There's only a, like a week or two left. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be one of the worst teams of all time record-wise. <laughs> 18 and 64. Good job, 2K. Giannis wins MVP. I'm actually gonna automate that to someone who's gonna win it in real life, which I I, I kinda want it to be Embiid. I wouldn't say I want it to, but I think it's gonna be Embiid. Where is Jokic? Why is Jokic not here? I don't know why Jokic ain't here, but that's fine. Um Embiid, we're gonna automate to MVP. Lamelo is probably gonna win uh, depending on how injured he is. Because um, Anthony Edwards is running away with it. Isaiah Stewart, sixth man of the year. He played great. But that's going to go to Jordan Clarkson. So I'm going to go to shooting guards and find Jordan Clarkson. Uh, where's Jordan Clarkson? Am I stupid? Yep, there he is. Okay. Jordan Clarkson, sixth man of the year. Giannis, defensive player of the year. Sadly, that's probably going to end up being Rudy Gobert. Um, I I think it should be Miles Turner. So you know what? I'm, pick, I'm putting Miles Turner. I don't care. I think Miles Turner should be considered for defensive player of the year. I think it's disrespectful that he's not. 
Um, Chris Boucher, most improved. That very well can happen. And Quinn Snyder, coach of the year, also can happen. Um, All-NBA first team. Uh, Westbrook made All-NBA second team. 20 near triple-double. Uh, Sabonis made All-NBA second team. So did Bam. Um, Cat, Kawhi, Trey Young, Curry. Simmons. All right. Westbrook made All-Defensive second team, too. And so did Drummond. Um, All-Rookie first team. No rookies for us. Precious Chu was there. All rookie seven team, also no rookies. So Devin Vassell does not make it. And here are the standings. The Hawks got the three seed. That's hilarious. The Wizards got the fourth seed. Even funnier. Um, the Rockets got the seventh seed. 2K, what are you on, dude? How do the Rockets make the playoffs? I mean, overall rise, like on paper, they're not bad. But obviously, they're not making the playoffs. Anyways. Um, let's go to season stats and player stats. DeMar ends with 25. Yep. DeJounte Murray puts his scoring up. 15 points a game. 50% from the field. 32 from three. Very solid. Keldon Johnson also ups his scoring to 12 points a game. Uh, Rudy Gay did not play the rest of the season. Derek White had 10. Mills did not play the rest of the season. Vassell upped his scoring to eight. So that's solid with a steal. Didn't, he didn't shoot bad for a rookie, actually. Especially from three. 36%. That's good. Um, Trey Jones ended up with um, eight points. Two rebounds. Two and a half assists and a steal. Shooting pretty decent for a rookie, especially a rookie point guard. Um, Jacoperto, he did up his stats big time, but I'm still probably not going to bring him back. I don't even think as a backup center. I just don't think he fits. And Luca played really bad. Really, really bad. But yeah, if we look at the standings, it's probably not going to be pretty. Can I look at the standings? Yeah, I can. No, I can't. Where do I look at the standings? Oh, right here. I'm blind. Um, the Jazz got the first seed. Like, they're going to get in real life. And we were a game worse than the pistons and it's a pretty big difference from everyone else so that yeah, we could get the first overall pick let's simulate the playoffs the heat lose in the first round of course i was going to keep tabs on them and bucks lakers which is why i predicted in real life the lakers end up winning anthony davis is your finals mvp off season now i'm going to sim all the way up until the draft lottery um and we'll probably see the i don't know if i want to do the draft lottery in this episode I'll probably do a draft lottery next episode. Um, player retirements. Shudonis Hasn't retires. Trevor Ariza also retires. I think. I don't think Trevor Ariza retired. I think it, he's got about two more years left. Goran retired? Why did Goran Dragic retire? PJ Tucker retired. Aaron Baines retired. Ayo, 2K. What are you on? Melo retired too. I didn't even notice that. What? J.J. Redick retired. What is 2K on? Well, there goes P.J. Tucker, Aaron Baines, Goran Dra All players that are playing pretty good, you know, pretty good in their careers. Some of the best basketball they played are retired. That's a good, good job, 2K. Popovich retires, kind of expected. 2K. You, you guys are something else. Draft lottery, we're not gonna uh, do that yet. We'll stop at the draft lottery. Obviously, we have the best odds if we go to the mock draft. Uh, they are projecting us to pick Cade Cunningham. I'll most likely draft him, him or Jalen Green. Evan Mobley is, it depends where we fall. If we get the first pick, I'll probably draft Cade Cunningham and move DeJounte to the shooting guard. Um, but if we end up falling to like four, I'll probably draft Evan Mobley to grab a big. So those are the two players I'm looking at. But that's going to be for me. Leave like guys didn't enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.